If you want to take a poll or have people vote on specific items, you can do that through Microsoft Outlook's voting feature. First of all, you want to create an email. And in this email, you want to specify what they're going to be voting on. For example, it's going to be marketing materials. I want to know what items we should produce and hand out to our clients. Now, I will specify those voting options. In other words, do we want to hand out t-shirts, mugs, hats, and so on. All they have to do is select the one that they like, hats, click on it, and then I'll get the responses back in my inbox. So again, once I have my email set up on what they're going to be doing in the email, voting, I'm going to go ahead and set up the voting options. To do that, come up here on the Message tab, go over to the Options group, and click on its expandable dialog box button, and then come over here and check Use Voting Buttons. You've got three choices when you click on the drop-down arrow. You can have them approve or reject as one voting option, say yes or no, or yes, no, maybe. Now I know that doesn't fit into what I want to do here, but I can easily change this. All you have to do if you want to customize this because you don't like these default options, just select any one of them, it doesn't matter. After you select it, come back in here and click inside and modify it. So for approve, I'm going to click and drag and delete that and say T-shirts. Separate it by semicolon for the next voting option, which will not be reject. It will be mugs, semicolon, pens, semicolon, and you can just keep adding as many items that you want people to vote on. When you're finished, all you have to do is click close. There's no save button. It'll automatically save it for you. That's it. All you have to do is go ahead and click send, and then when the users get their emails here, they can go ahead and vote on it. Now before I ask them to go ahead and start voting, I want to show you something. I'm going to go to the sent items folder because remember the sent items keeps track of all the emails I sent off. When I double click and open up marketing materials you'll see that this is what I sent off to Carrie Heffernan and another user. And in all actuality this is what it's going to look like. When they get the email this is what they're going to see. In the info bar it's going to say vote by clicking vote in the respond group above. Then they come up here to the respond group, click on the vote drop down arrow, they can select t-shirts, mugs, or pens. Once they select either one of them it's going to pop up and it says this is what you've chosen. You want to go ahead and send the response or do you want to edit the response before sending? In other words, do you have some extra bloviating or text you want to type in before you send the response? I'm going to click cancel because this is from me. I don't want it to come back to me again. Okay, Let me close out. Second thing I want you to notice is that, again, we're in our sent items box. This is what we sent off. Until somebody actually sends us the first response back when they actually vote, this is always going to stay as a message format icon here, a little envelope. Once I get my first response back, it's going to change into a voting icon. I'll show you what it looks like. But basically, it's just a piece of paper with a check mark and an X and something else. It just means that people are starting to vote now, okay? So I'll go ahead and tell them to start voting, and then we'll get our first response back. Let's go to our inbox and wait for it here. And there's our response. Up at the top, you can see that the response has been mugs. It tells you right there, if it was pins that she chose, it would have said pins or t-shirts. You can double click to open it up, and it says the sender responded mugs, or again, it would be pins or t-shirts. Close out of that. Now, can you imagine having 50 or 100 or 1,000 people responding back, having to double click or just look in the subject heading and making sure and tallying up all the mugs to get the totals to say, oh, okay, the mugs are the most popular ones. We're going to go ahead and use that for our marketing material. That could take too long. Instead, you can go back to your sent items folder, and this is what I was talking about earlier. It changes it from an envelope into a little checkoff list or a page with a check mark and an X. People are actually starting to send you responses back. When you double click and open it up, what you can do is come up here in the show group and click on tracking. So you can keep track of all this from one email, which is your sent email. And you can see that up in the top in the info bar, it says these are the total replies. You had one for mugs no for shirts and no for pens. Then it lists down below all the people who have replied. So far this person at this email address hasn't replied yet, but Carrie did. She replied at 2.11 p.m. today. And then of course you can always go back to your message view if you're done tracking and then close out. And again this icon tells me of all the other icons that I'm getting responses back that this is the voting email that I sent off to everybody. And certainly it's a lot easier to keep track of it within one email than again going back to your inbox and counting up all the responses that you got back. Now one thing you ought to know about this is that this voting feature that you send out in Outlook 2007 will only show up for people who have Outlook 2007. If they have 2003 or XP or an older version of Outlook, they're not going to get the voting features. Now I want to show you what it looks like when somebody else sends us a voting email. And this is from Carrie. Let me double click and open it up. Again, it just looks like the same thing as we saw in our sent items before we started getting responses back. When you get the email, it's always best to look up in the info bar first before you start reading. 
or maybe when you send the email make sure you list it down below because it doesn't stand out all that much does it it's not red it's not dancing around so I basically read my email and trash it again when you send these voting emails out it's best to put something down below it says please vote above so when I look above it's like oh okay there it is there's the vote click on the drop down arrow again what's it about let's see annual company party please vote on what grand prize uh, drawing gift should be well it should be a Porsche I can send the response now or edit it and click OK it'll send the response but not without me saying I want the color of the Porsche to be blue and then click send and then I can close out of the email here and then Carrie can keep track of all the responses that she gets back and then I guess at some time let everybody know what the drawing for the grand prize will be based upon the popularity of the voting and hopefully it'll be a Porsche Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.